Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be filming my first ever Shop My Stash video. Now, I have been shopping my stash behind the scenes for a little while now. It's something that I kind of do on my own to make sure that I'm rotating through my collection. But a lot of you have requested that I sit down and film this when I am picking these products out so you can kind of see the process and what I am picking. Before we jump in, I do want to briefly explain it. If you already know what a Shop My Stash is and you just want to hop into it, there will be a timestamp right here and in the description box. But what I'm going to be doing is taking this little makeup basket. This, right now, all it has in it is just like some everyday brushes for me. And I'm going to go through every category of my makeup collection and pick out a handful of products that I want to focus on and start using. So this is kind of a way to make sure that I'm rotating through everything I have, making use of things, not just leaving a product behind, forgetting about it in the back of my drawer. So a Shop My Stash or a makeup basket, you could call it either or, lasts for a particular amount of time. So this could be something that I do weekly or every two weeks or every single month. And I'm gonna try to kind of focus on these specific makeup items until I shop my stash again and bring in some new ones. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is curating a little mini makeup collection for me to focus on for a couple of weeks. So right now I'm thinking, I'm gonna have to see how this goes if you guys like it and I will film them more frequently. If you don't, this might be the only one that I do, so definitely give this a thumbs up if you do like it. But right now I'm thinking this could be something that I film every two weeks. Maybe, maybe every month if two weeks seems too often. I thought about doing it weekly, but I think that might be too much. Let me know your thoughts down below. I typically like to kind of change my makeup out once a week. I keep it in this basket and then kind of try to change things along the way, but I think it might be a little too much, like I said, if I film it every week. So let me know how often you would like to see it and we'll kind of go from there. Maybe I'll do a poll on my community tab or something. So let me know your thoughts on that, but let's go ahead now and hop into the clips of me picking out the products. All right, so here are my makeup drawers and I kind of want to go through them individually. This top one has just like some PR products and random stuff that I need to test out or just like newer makeup to my collection. So I think I'm gonna go through that one last. I kind of want to pull things from the other drawers first. So this drawer has like my primers and foundations and basically it's all base products. So. First of all, I want to get like a very hydrating primer. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Too Faced Hangover RX. I had started testing this out, I really liked it, and then I kind of stopped using it. So, oops, I'm not even, <laughs> this is my first time filming one of these videos, so bear with me, but I'm gonna throw this in first. I also think I'm gonna throw in this Smooth Glow Primer from Koki. I haven't tested this out too, too much. It's hydrating, but it's also kind of smoothing, so I think it'll be, I think this will be one that I'll enjoy right now. I definitely need hydration this time of year, but sometimes I'm also looking for a primer that is going to give me like a smooth surface, so this would be a good one to have in there. For foundations, I want to throw in my Becca Full Coverage Complexion Cream. I have not used this in a while, and I used to like it. I don't think I like it that much anymore, so I kind of want to throw it in this makeup basket to test it out and try and figure out whether or not it's something I want to keep in my collection. Now, this might seem excessive, but I want to throw both of these in. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect and the Becca Skin Love Foundation. I love both of these individually, but lately I've been obsessed with wearing them together. And this one's a little too dark for me, this one's a little too light, so I think they're going to be a great combo to have. And I'm gonna be honest, I wanna throw in a third foundation and a third primer because I'm just like obsessed with base products and I love using them. But I think I'm gonna try and focus on the ones that I have right now. And oh, I said a third foundation, it actually would be a fourth. So yeah, I probably do not need to put another one, but those are the ones I wanna focus on for a setting spray. I wanna use my Ofra Makeup Fixer. I really like this, but I've been playing around with other setting sprays so much recently that I haven't used this as much, so I wanna throw it in. All right, now this third drawer, as you can see, I really need to organize these drawers with separators because this is just like a big jumbled mess. But in this third drawer, I have bronzers, highlighters, blushes, concealers, setting powders, basically everything. So the first thing that I know I want to throw in is this liquid blush from Glossier. This is the Cloud Paint in Beam. 
I used to be obsessed with this, but for me it's more of a wintertime product, so I haven't used it in a while, so I want to throw this in. Also, my Ulta face sculpting color stick, because this is in my project pan and I want to keep working on it. Also in my project pan is my Tarte Blush and Party. I'm going to throw this in here at least until I hit pan on it, then I might switch it out for something else. For highlighter, this is the shade Karina. Yeah, Karina from Blush Tribe. And I've only used this like once. They sent this to me a while ago and I've been a little nervous to use it because it looks so glittery, but I want to test it out. Even if I don't love it on the cheeks, I think I might try to get some use out of it as an inner corner highlight. So I'm going to throw this in. Also, I want to throw in Becca Opal. I used this, mine broke and I had to repress it. So it looks a little crazy and I have pieces coming out, but I used this for the first time in a long time yesterday and I remembered how much I love this. I prefer it when I'm a little bit tanner because if I'm super, super fair, it's a little dark for me, but I think I want to throw this in as well. I also want to throw in my little mini of Fenty Hustler Baby. I was loving this in the summertime and haven't used it as much recently, but I think a gold highlight is really pretty right now around the holidays. I don't think I'm gonna put in a second bronzer because I really wanna focus on my Ulta stick and I am gonna throw in like more of a contouring kit later on when we get to the bottom drawer. So I think that's gonna be good for bronzers, blushes, and highlight, I think. Oh, and I gotta throw in a powder, duh, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna throw in the Born This Way powder. I've tested this out a little bit but I need to kind of test it out some more and decide my thoughts. So this is gonna be my powder. Okay, for concealer, these are the three I'm gonna put in. So first I'm gonna throw in my Becca Under Eye Corrector. I love this in the winter, it's so hydrating, but it also gives you a little bit of color correcting. So I'm gonna want that because the two other ones that I'm throwing in are a little bit more of a medium to light coverage depending on how much you apply. This is the Bendy Avocado Concealer from First Aid Beauty, and I'm putting in shades one and two because I like to mix them. Okay, drawer number three has lips and eyes, so let me take this out. This just has like glittery eye products in it for my lips. Oh, wait a minute. I have some of my purse I need to take out. Okay, Cass just came over and he is sitting on my lap, so if you see his head pop in or you see little noises, that is him. But right now, I'm loving red lips. I love them. I always love red lips, but I especially reach for them in the winter time. So I want to grab a couple of reds. So my favorite red lipstick is Ofra Atlantic City, but I kind of want a gloss to throw over it. And I don't know how this will work, but I'm going to throw in the shade Snitch from Urban Decay. Now that shade is definitely more of a coral, but I think over top of the red, it could be pretty. So I'm going to put that in as well. Now, kind of a fun combo that I want to try and test out is the shade Ashton from Anastasia mixed in with the shade Nom Nom from AOA because this is very, very light as an orangey color, but this is a little too brown and deep on me, so I think together they could be really beautiful. And I have to throw in my NYX lip liner in natural. This is like my everyday lip liner color. I wear it so often. Also, you know that nude lips are my favorite, so I needed to throw in a couple. <laughs> this is my all-time favorite nude. This is Stark Naked from Urban Decay. But I also wanted to put in the shade Juicy, which is like a glittery lip topper. This was from the Naked Cherry collection, and I've used this once and I liked it, so I want to play with it a little bit more. Okay, I'm throwing in a lot of lippies here because I think I might try to keep this basket for maybe two weeks, so I want to give myself some variety. So I'm putting in another lip liner from NYX. This is the shade Sand Beige, which is similar to the other one, but darker. And I want to pair that with this. I wore this combo the other day and it was so pretty. This is the shade Glace from Bite Beauty. I also have to throw this lip color in from Bite. This is a custom shade, but it's in my project pan, so I have to focus on it. And because I'm me, I have to throw in a lip gloss. Um, I mean, I guess I already put in this lip gloss, but I need a nude lippy. So this is Fuel from Urban Decay. Okay, so here they are all together and you're like, Kelly, you think that's enough lip products? And yes, I agree, that's so many, but I have a few different combos that I wanna try and focus on and test out, so that's why I put in a million. Now for eyes, I wanna throw in this eyeliner. This is the shade Lucky from Urban Decay. I think this will be really pretty in the waterline right now during the holidays. 
And as a liquid shadow, this is the Essence Metal Shock Shadow in Supernova. I haven't used it in a while, wanna play with it. And then I have two more glitters to throw in. This is a dual metallic shadow from Koki, and the shade is called Steal the Show. It's just a true gold. Sticking with that theme, I'm also gonna throw in the Heavy Metal Liner in Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. Okay, and then the final thing that I wanna focus on is this little container. I'm not sure where this is from, to be honest. It's just like a letter holder. Right now, I have it filled in with different um, palettes that I'm using right now, but I'm actually gonna take all of these out and then fill it up with some palettes that I wanna focus on. Okay, so first of all, I've gotta throw in Soul Tree because I'm kind of obsessed with it right now, but I also want to focus on my Hasina palette from Blush Tribe. Haven't really, oops, haven't really been using this as much and I wanna play with it. And then for a face palette, this is the old school Anastasia contour kit. I want to get some more use out of that one. I also love my little Stila highlighters. This is a little limited edition trio from a couple years ago. I also want to throw in subculture. I don't know. I'm thinking I, I'm feeling inspired to maybe do a look with this one. So this probably will not even fit in here, but this is the Elements palette from Urban Decay. And I actually use this for today's look. So that's, we'll just set that to side. And because I love these colors during the holidays, this is the Tartlet Toasted palette. Sorry, this won't focus. So there is that palette. I'm also gonna throw that in. And I also wanna keep the Sigma Viper palette in there a little bit longer because I've been having a ton of fun with that. But these are, this is quite a few, but these are all of the different palettes. I have some face, mostly eyes, that I wanna play with over the next few weeks. So that's gonna go ahead and complete this Shop My Stash video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me curate my makeup basket for the next few weeks. I'm thinking I might do like a get ready with me or a tutorial using some of these products. So you can kind of see them in action. If that's something you're interested in, please leave me a comment down below so I know. But also, please let me know how often you wanna see these videos. If you want me to continue doing them, do you wanna see them weekly, every two weeks, every month, every couple months? Whatever your thoughts are, just leave them down below. I love hearing your input. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern. Bye.